what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss on the secret of trines what actually every corner of the trines the four trines do and how are they related and how affecting one trine will affecting one house of a particular trine or one corner the other way you call it will affect the other two corners and how that will affect the whole trine and if you are new to my channel then please see the videos and subscribe to the channel if you like them and if you like this video then click the like button and share it with your family friends and loved and dear ones and if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know in the comment section all right let us begin now what is the first trine we all know what are trines right if you have not watched the video on trines then please go back to the playlist of astrology basics and see the video on trines trines are known as trikonas in astrology and we have the dharma trikon the first which is the first fifth and the ninth houses now the trines are very much related because if you take the dharma trikon first house is you fifth house is your children and ninth house is your father yes that means if first house is you means your body so that means if you are having some health problem your father and your children even they will not be able to be happy of course there will be other people also in the family but when i say health problem i mean some specific problem related to genes and dna because through the father the gene is transferred to the child that means if your father had some problem it might be that that same problem hereditary wise is transferred to you and then that same thing gets transferred to your child and then it keeps going because fifth from the fifth which is your grandchild children is also the ninth house yes that has to be that means whatever happens in one house positively will affect the other houses positively now let me give you another example for example if your father was a very spiritually elevated person he used to do spiritual practices daily then it is very likely that you also do them or you used to be doing at least when you were young or you may still be able to do it properly now also if you want to do it just in case you have stopped doing it that means those teachings have come from your father and similarly if you are like that then your son or daughter they will also be engaging in the practices regularly and if you are not like that then there are no chances it's sure that they will also not practice anything spiritual which will not be very good for them in the long run that means we you have to inspire them by your own example which means that if you want them to to do something then first you have to do it and show them then similarly we have the second house sixth house and the tenth house which are the trines of what artha artha is resources money wealth ability to do something stability basically now second house is the house of money it is the house of finances wealth income etc sixth house is the house of jobs and tenth house is the house of status see this is how it happens if the sixth house is having a problem which is also health then you have to take leave you can't go to the tenth house to work then if you can't work then your status will be down you may be fired from the job and then ultimately you lose money which is the second house and when you don't have money you will not have anybody <laughs> that is why second house is sustenance and money together sustenance means family friends relatives nobody likes to be friends with a person who doesn't have any resources because then they will be asking resources from you all the time 
it's very rare that somebody will like you unless he is spiritually very elevated who can see you beyond the covering of your body and your finances your money and your resources which is very rare as i said that means this is how the cycle in the trines are affected because sixth house is also health again you go from the second house second house is again what speech if you maintain a bad speech if you speak harsh or you speak dirty words or you speak in a way that is not conducive for that particular environment then what happens you will lose the association of people around you then you will not have contacts by which if you are searching for a job you may not get a job because nobody will recommend you and then you won't have a rise in your status or promotion necessarily and then you will be stuck there wherever you are monetary wise your monetary income will not increase that means the second sixth and the tenth houses are very much related now which is the next train next train is the third house seventh house and the eleventh house which are known as the karma houses the trains of desire now what is the third house third house is the higher octave of the second house it is second from the second what you do with your communication that is why it represents the communication industry second house is speech and third house is the communication industry communication industry what it does it uses the speech to get something done money or news or whatever you call it journalism and seventh house is the house of marriage opposite sex partners etc and 11th house is the house of friends networking circles large organizations these are all linked because third house is the house of desire if you do not have desire for money which is the 11th house also apart from the second house then you will not work <laughs> you will even not get married or you will not get into a relationship because you will not approach the opposite sex and if somebody in india is planning for your marriage then you will be like hey, i don't want to get married that means the 7th house and 11th house will just stay it will not be activated if you do not have desire and if you have desire that i want to get married only then you will get married yes because that's third house is the house of desire and third house is also the house of communication which means that when you have to meet somebody which is the 7th house and 11th house is the house of friends etc then you have to travel yes you will have to travel otherwise you will not get there you will stay at the same place and on the other hand if you are successful with the 11th house if you have too many friends you can always keep traveling <laughs> so if you do not have the third house you cannot go to the 11th house and if you do not have the 11th house you cannot go to the third house and similarly is the 7th house if <coughs> if you do not have income then you cannot get married maybe you can but it is not recommended because then how will you sustain your family if you are a man especially by income i don't mean income by your means you may have some family income or some but something has to be there even if you are born in a royal family and you don't need to work but there should be some source of income otherwise no nobody will want to marry you right or uh, or no father would like to give his daughter in marriage to you that is how these houses are linked 11th house is linked with the 7th house fulfillment of desire and surprisingly parashara muni has put women also in the second house because women bring family family is second house and second house is also the house of money <laughs> so that means women will women are likely to go there only where they see concrete resources which is okay that's their way the manufacturing is done that means if you do not have the 11th house which is also like the second house of money which is also the house of gains you will not be able to have the company of the 7th house which is what marriage 
opposite partner spouse relationships and lastly what is the last trine it is the moksha trikon fourth house the eighth house and the twelfth house <clears throat> what is fourth house fourth house deals with the inner purity internal well-being how happy you feel about yourself and about the world around you twelfth house is the house of sleep eighth house is the house of getting up from the bed and going to clean your bowels <laughs> and that is how it is linked actually because if you are not having a good day your morning will not be good because the day is the active part which is the fourth house eighth house is just when you get up and twelfth house is when you are like i'm done so if you do not have a good day then you will not feel very positive when you get up in the morning and when you go to sleep you will not get proper sleep you will be haunted by dreams wishes desires by things which you do not like to see <laughs> because the chain is formed the fourth house will fourth house is like the base it will decide what happens to the eighth house and to the twelfth house that is why so many people complain that they get insomnia they can't sleep I made a video on this is why you can't sleep please go and watch that video if you want to know more about what I am speaking here and how to arrange the way the day in a way that you get pure thoughts when you are sleeping and then thereby feel positive when you get up otherwise life will become miserable for you <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say that every house of the time is related to the other time and that is how you understand that why these houses are kept in the same train. For example, second house and ninth house is not a part of the train. <laughs> they don't form any specific train here. Because your money and your family has nothing to do with God. <laughs> Either you have a family or you don't have a family. It does not hinder you from going close to God in any way it doesn't yes but the ninth house is connected to the lagna what is lagna lagna is your intellect lagna is the house of intellect and wisdom because Jupiter Mercury gets directional strength there in the first house that means if your intellect is not clear if you do not know to choose wisdom over knowledge or over intelligence intelligence and knowledge is Jupiter but it's on a mundane level it's Mercury the information and wisdom is Jupiter so if you do not know to choose that then you cannot choose spirituality because then you are caught up in the mundane world that is why the Lagna is kept in trines to the ninth house and why is the fifth house in trines to the ninth house because fifth house is the house of love when I say love, I do not only mean the love romance of this world. Well, now you may say, oh, that is opposite of spirituality. No, not necessarily. What fifth house actually means is fifth house is the house of devotion, of commitment, of where our heart lies. And ultimately, from the ninth house, we have to come to the fifth house. Because fifth house is nine to the ninth. If you count nine houses from the ninth house, you will end up in the fifth house. Ultimately, at the end of the day. That means when you follow the religious rituals, ceremonies, your state will go so much high that spirituality will become very natural for you. And then you reach the fifth house, which is the culmination of all the houses. Fifth house is the most important house in astrology. It is even more important than the ninth house because fifth house will tell you what has the power to control you okay that is it from my side if you like this video then click the like button or if you want to do some donation some charity then the link to paypal is there below and if you like this video then share it with your family friends and colleagues until next time bye bye see you